and Wenger started introducing rigorous training camps in Austria as he wanted a strong start to the season and switched back to his preferred formation, the 4-4-2. But Arsenal started badly and despite writing history by being the all-time goalscorer of the team, Ian Wright and Arsenal received boos and whistles after their defeat at Highbury by the hands of Blackburn by three goals to one. And despite the great efforts from the French teenager Nicolas Anelka after joining the team in last season's winter transfer market, and despite Arsenal winning against United thanks to the French youngster, the Gunners were far away from competing, sitting in sixth position at the end of December and were 12 points away from United at the top of the league. Wenger usually doesn't like confrontation, that's why he gave that responsibility to the leaders of the team, as the players had a meeting and the English spine of the team were asking for more defensive coverage from their French duet in the middle. And following that tense meeting, the team never looked back. According to the referee and Bergkamp, certainly life in hand. Could it be four for Arsenal? It can! What a cracker from Patrick Vieira! Arsenal embarked on an unbeaten streak of matches, extending till their fateful match in March against United at Old Trafford, as Arsenal were nine points away from United, but the Gunners had three matches in hand. 